During the three-day journey to the moon, the astronauts kept busy. Checklists, navigation and observation, housekeeping. July 19th. Apollo 11 slows down and goes into orbit around the moon. The bright blue planet of Earth. From Columbia, Michael Collins' camera sees bright rays of the sun reflecting patterns of color from the surface of the eagle. In this strange metallic bird rides the ancient and endless dream of all mankind. The moon landing craft rocket engine fires to slow it down and to place it on the pathway to the landing site in the Sea of Tranquility. There is tension and caution as the Eagle flies lower. Warning lights blink on as the computer tries to keep up with the demand for control data. But the status remains, go. Forward. Forward. Forty feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. Four forward, four forward, drifting to the right a little. That's okay. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Through the window of the eagle, Armstrong and Aldrin see what no human eyes have ever seen before. Their spacecraft casts a long shadow across the undisturbed dust of centuries. Seven hours after landing, after careful preparations for later ascent were completed, Armstrong opens the eagle hatch and begins his climb down to the surface. Roger. And we're getting a picture on the TV. TV. Okay. You got a good picture, huh? Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out uh, a fair amount of detail. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, not even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Right, here we copy. That's a pretty good little jump. This is Houston, F2, 1160 a second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. Um, uh, at the foot of the ladder, the lamb foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. Now I'm going to step off the lamb now. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yes, 
the uh, surface is fine and battery. I can I can pick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere to, in fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the uh, to the sole and sides of my boot. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads and the fine sandy particles. Hey, hello, this is Houston. We're copying. and moving around as, as we suspected. Uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 16 g that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Neil, this is Houston. That's affirmative. We're getting a new picture. You can tell it's a longer focal length lens. I appreciate that, thank you. We've got you four sided, but uh, back to one right side. For those who haven't uh, read the plaque, uh, we'll read the plaque that's on the front landing gear of this lamb. Each of the two hemispheres of Earth. Underneath it says, Here men from the planet Earth. First set foot upon the moon, July 1969, AD. We came in peace for all mankind. It has the, the crew members' signatures and the signature of the President of the United States. I believe they're setting up the flag now. Great. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. 